Hello, my name is Billy Turnbow from Cisco Tech. In this video, we're going to show you how to generate a Jabber problem report from multiple clients. Generating a problem report in Jabber is basically the same procedure no matter what client you're using. However, Jabber mobile clients, meaning iPhone and Android, do not provide all logging possible unless you select it from the settings. We will first show you what this looks like on a Jabber mobile client. First, if you are logged in, please log out from your Jabber client and reset the client as shown here. This will clear out old log and configuration data. Now, log back in as you normally would. and then touch your avatar on the top left. Go to Settings, go down, and in the Help section, select Problem Reporting menu. Enable the Detailed Logging slider as shown here. Now, recreate the issue. In this example, we are recreating a phone connectivity issue in Jabber. Once you have recreated the issue, please take note of the timestamp or take a screenshot so we can see not just the time on your phone, but the actual error message in Jabber. Touch your avatar on the top left and go back into the settings and back into the problem reporting. Finally, select Send Problem Report. Here you can choose any of the causes for this problem report choose the one that applies to your case. Once you have done this, the Jabber Problem Report will open your native mail application in your iPhone device with the log attached. Please attach this log and any screenshots to your TAC case. Once this is done, you may disable detailed logging if you desire, but it is not necessary. For Jabber Windows or Mac clients, the process is essentially the same. Again, the difference is we do not have to enable a detailed logging option. As with Jabber Mobile clients, log out, reset the client to clear logs, and then log back in. If the problem is not easily reproducible, resetting Jabber is not necessary, but try to initiate the problem report as soon as the issue occurs. Fill out the forms as necessary, attaching any files or screenshots you have. Here you will also see a checkbox to include a memory dump. Unless you have a Jabber client that is crashing, please do not check this box as it will cause the problem report to be several hundred megabytes in size. This is only necessary if you have a Jabber client that is crashing or terminating unexpectedly. Lastly, save the problem report file and feel free to call it whatever you would like. Upload this file to the TAC case. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for watching.